How's it going, everyone? It's Kate Lumity here, and my goodness, it's time to talk about some Star Wars Battlefront. So, Star Wars Battlefront collection released today. Battlefront 1 and 2 are finally playable online, sort of? So, the problem with this is, is that the main reason for this game to exist is basically its online mode. That's really the only reason for this game to exist, because of the fact that we already have a way to play Battlefront 1 and 2 through backwards compatibility on the Xbox Series X. So for us Xbox players, this really doesn't need to exist except for multiplayer. That's the main reason for this game to exist. And unfortunately right now multiplayer is pretty busted up. In fact, it's actually insanely hard to even get into a multiplayer match because there's hardly any servers. So, I don't know exactly how the whole server situation works. All I know is that on Battlefront 1, I only saw two actual servers by Aspire, the people who published and, and released this game. And there were a couple other servers, and I don't know if people created those or what. I tried creating my own server and hope I was hoping that people would join my server. Never happened. So, I don't know if it just didn't get put out there like the other servers. I don't know what happened. I don't know if people can't see my server. I don't know what I did, so I don't know how that works or anything. All I know is that I only saw like two servers for Aspire on Xbox, and that was for Battlefront 1. So I just created my own, and no one joined, but I played it for a little while. And it plays great. I love the way it plays. It feels really good. It, it, it plays fine. It looks pretty good for what it is. Obviously, you know, you got older graphics, but that doesn't bother me. I, I grew up with this game, so I'm used to playing it. And in fact, I've haven't really ever stopped playing this game. I've been playing it <laughs> since it came out all the way up until this day. I love the old Battlefront games and they're some of my favorite to go back and play. Um, so it, it plays well. It looks good and all that stuff. It's just unfortunately the main reason to play this version of the game is the multiplayer and it's broken. And it doesn't stop at Battlefront 1. Battlefront 2 is also the same way. There's hardly any servers to join in and if you are lucky enough to be able to get into a server, well, good luck with the connection because it's very laggy and it stutters something awful. And I'm, I looked online to make sure it wasn't just me having this issue. A lot of people are having this issue with being able to join games with the stuttering gameplay. In fact, if you go on Steam right now, it's actually sitting with mostly negative reviews at 732 reviews. And I believe it said that only 20% of all the reviews were positive on this game, which is insane. So that's like 80% negative reviews at the time of this video. So that's insane. Uh, I was not wanting to make a negative video on this game. I was actually super excited for it because this is like the one game this year I was super excited for. Um, but unfortunately, it's broken right now. <laughs> so it's... You know, this isn't a review for this game. I'll do a review later on once I put like you know ten or so more hours into it. Um, but right now, it, it's busted. It's busted up pretty bad, and I'm hoping that they patch it quickly. I'm hoping they add more servers quickly because right now it's a mess and nobody can play. A lot of people are already recommending that you don't pick it up and you don't play it. I'm not gonna say that. At the end of the day, it's your money. You do what you want with it. If you want to play it and you want to give it a shot, you know, good luck. <laughs> um, but it, it, just keep in mind that you are going to have some problems getting servers. It's going to take you some time. It's going to take you quite a few tries. And when you get in them, it may not play very well. In fact, the first match I got into stuttered horribly. And I stayed in that server. The second match on that server stuttered a little bit less. It, it was at least somewhat playable then. And then the third match stuttered hardly any at all. So maybe the longer you stay in a match and stay in the server, it will get better. I'm just kind of spitballing here, hoping that's what it is. Um, but either way, it's definitely got to have some sort of patch to fix it, because right now it is not good, and people are definitely beating this game down, and I can't blame them, because this this is pretty disappointing. I, I was hoping that it would be uh, at least easier to join a match than it is. I, I kind of wasn't expecting matchmaking, because I know how that is, you know, on, on the older games. I, I figured they'd probably do servers like this, but right now it's just, there's just not enough servers. There's not enough dedicated servers from Aspire, and until I can figure out how to get other people to, like, join my server and make a public server, and how, you know, I haven't seen other people, very many other people, be able to do it either. You know, until I start seeing more of that, this game's 
not in a good state. So hopefully we'll see that soon, though. If you have been able to get into a match, let me know what you think about the game so far. Uh, I, they look great. They play, you know, fine when you're playing by yourself, at least. It's just the multiplayer right now is really busted, and that's the main reason to have this game. I don't know what Aspire was thinking, honestly. I mean, this is the most popular Star Wars game probably ever made, two of the most popular Star Wars games ever made, and you didn't expect to have this many people trying to play it? Like, what what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> you, were, you were literally re-releasing two of the most popular Star Wars games. Not just Star Wars games, you were, you're re-releasing two of the most popular games of all time, and... You didn't have servers prepared? That seems insane to me, so hopefully they fix that. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe button down below, and I'll talk to you in the next video. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.